Alright, hey everybody, today we're back. I just got my Mark III, I unboxed it, it's about a couple hours later. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to set up the FM sound unit, since I was a little confused at first. Um, so first off, there's a little door right here, it's uh, the exact same color as the other plastic. You remove that, you take this ribbon band and you plug it into there. Now that takes power from the Mark III from this port, puts it into the FM sound unit for the Mark III. Now in the back is where it gets confusing. So, in the back you have three cables. This is kind of like setting up a 32X, but less confusing. So in the back here, uh, for the Mark III, you have your external out, and you have your power switch, or your power input, your actual power switch, which turns the console on and off. Now, of course, you would have to either insert a cartridge in there, or you'd have to insert a card. And after that, you take... There's, this cable is actually connected to the sound unit itself, which is actually not, uh, it's only held in place by gravity like the uh, Famicom disk system. So you take this, you plug it into the extension out right here in the back, plug it in like that, and now that takes all the video and puts it into the sound unit, which processes it. And then you take either a Model 1 Genesis or Mega Drive or a Sega Master System or the actual Mark III cables, and you put them into the video out, and then that takes the mono sound and the video and it puts it into your TV just like that. Now I know it can be a little bit confusing at first but um, I will put a link in the description about a complete list of the games that are compatible with the actual FM sound unit. This is not one of them, this is just Star Jack around the SG-1000. what this looks like. Kind of open up like in television cases. ColecoVision. I've never actually seen a real box ColecoVision game. Here you Flip up the lid, insert the cartridge, flip the switch, and now you are ready to play Starjacker. Now this is for the SG-1000, and the Mark III is basically an updated 8-bit version of the SG-1000, or it's similar to the Master System. So I guess that's cool. You get all the compatibility with every single with every single SG-1000 game. Um, and there's the back. Here's the pins. So that's how you set up the FM sound unit for the lovely looking Sega Mark III. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this solves some of your problems. If you've ever had any with this, I know it can be a bit confusing but it does help to have some instructions every once in a while and unfortunately the ones that came with this one are in Japanese, which is always a joy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and keep playing.